Hey guys, it's Nathaniel again. I've got a brand new listing down in the Coronado Cays. Um, this boat is a 1996 Hunter Passage 42 center cockpit uh, sailboat with a B&R rig. Brand new sails, brand new uh, radar sounder, multifunction display, and a whole lot more. Let's go take a look. All right, let's start up at the bow. We've got a Fortress Danforth. Uh, you see your marker lights up front. Here you can see brand new sail cover on a brand new sail. Um, that's from Doyle Sails. And let's walk down here a little bit. Um, inside that front anchor locker, you will see a lot of chain. Also, a uh, windlass. As we walk back, you start to see how massive this boat is. Uh, these hunters are known for being particularly large and particularly spacious below decks, uh, in particular in the salon, the V-berth, and in this case, the aft cabin. Uh, basically everywhere. Hunters are spacious everywhere. Uh, you can see that brand new mainsail. Uh, new Simrad radar. Um, I don't know if you can quite see, but the uh, Windex and anemometer are both moving freely, pointing in the same direction, and where it looks like we're getting a little bit of wind speed off that right now. Uh, all right. Okay, a couple of fender holders here off of the port stern rail. Um, the non-skid looks to me as if it was repainted uh, at least fairly recently. Now this gray non-skid that goes all the way around the boats and above. All right, let's take a look here. Um, hunters, of course, have a lot of room in the cockpit uh, due to this um, arch and the traveler being mounted to the top of the arch. Uh, a lot of Benetos share this feature now as well, uh, but Hunter was one of the first to do it. Um, this boat has a Furling main and Furling jib. All right. Um, the uh, transom here is nice, easy walk down. You've got basically three steps down on either side, um, and then there's a, a, um, a swim ladder here as well, which you can arch down there. A little bit of storage uh, for lines and whatnot. Um, over here is the propane locker. Uh, the boat does have a propane range. Uh, this is the uh, six horsepower outboard, uh, which does not come with the sail, uh, but everything's negotiable. Uh, we have some nice pads back here for sunbathing. above the aft cabin. Um, on this boat, you have four winches all located in the cockpit. One, two, three, four, easy access to those. Here we have a Lumar uh, 50, a 30, a 44, and another 50. Since we're already in this cockpit, let's take a look around. Number one, couple of fusion speakers up there on the arch. Here are the engine controls. That's a Yanmar. And uh, the hour meter reads 1,424.8 hours. Um, you also have oil pressure, RPM, and water temperature, and the controls to start. Uh, here is your VHF on the exterior. UM385 by Uniden. It's a newer unit than 1996. Um, here's where some money was spent recently. This is a Simrad multifunction display um, that is hooked up to a, uh, a GPS sounder and radar. We do have autopilot as well. And then here's the auto helm 
uh, speed display, depth, and uh, wind direction and speed. Five knots of wind right now. And there's that. A compass. And of course, there's the display with this large stainless steel wheel looking forward. Great visibility if you stand. Pretty good visibility if you sit. All right. Here's this arch again. Take a look at the traveler. Let's walk forward. Oh, well, let's look at the, uh, the gear. So um, here you've got eight. All lines are led aft, pretty much, um, that you'll be using regularly. And you've got a couple, uh, three spares. Uh, three spare clutches. All right. Here we are. There's the furler for the main. Got some new polyester double braid up here. And then uh, moving forward. All right. Here's that new sail cover on the uh, on the jib up front. Let's see the Fortress FX23 uh, Danforth anchor. And I'll move these lines out of the way. You can see in the anchor locker, there's a good good amount of chain, uh, but you also do have uh, that is attached to three strand nylon road. Um, and yeah, up here, it is up control. You have the water fill up here, and this windlass is a uh, Simpson Lawrence. All right, let's take a look at the boat. Looking towards the aft. She's a beauty. Tons of deck space up here to entertain to your heart's content. Um, the boat also does have a, a Bimini and Dodger, uh, which are not currently installed, uh, but are reportedly in good shape as well. All right. Walk around one more time and then move to the interior. Right. Oh, this is your shore power connection. <laughs> All right, let's go down below. Expansive salon, to say the least, in this Hunter Passage 42. Uh, number one, look at this dining room table. My goodness, it's huge. Plenty, plenty of room to seat about six, seven. Um, there's TV up front, stereo up there as well, Bluetooth enabled. Um, plenty of storage behind the banquettes and of course below as well. Um, underneath that um, bench over there is the air conditioning. Uh, this boat does have a reverse cycle air conditioning, so heat and cold. Look over here to the galley. Then I'm going to take a couple steps down. Nice easy steps to get in. Uh, pretty gradual. There they are. Uh, but here is a, a double bowl stainless steel sink. A little cutting board on top there. Uh, plenty of room uh, for all of your well, flatware, plateware, cups. Check it out. There's a little air conditioning vent. Uh, we have a microwave as well. And over here, a toaster oven, which is probably going to be one of the more used items on this vessel for cooking. And here we have a three burner propane range with oven ice box actually this is the, uh, the fridge and also 
more room below there too. So two of those and you can access that uh, from the front. And plenty of storage room below. The sink for all the cleaning supplies. Paper towel rack, essential. All right, I'm gonna move forward just a little bit. There's your control for the air conditioning. Nice speaker up there. Um, there's the TV. And moving forward, check out the head first. All right, so this is the forward head uh, with um, Jack and Jill doors, either to the salon or to the forward stateroom. Uh, it's electric head. Hot and cold there. That is not a pull out uh, faucet there. You have a dedicated uh, shower head for this pretty separate shower area. Um, I don't know if you can see there's a track there, and we have the shower curtain there. Um, we do have above the sink storage free vanity and below as well usually used for cleaning supplies let's check out the ooh, the v-birth all right there is your large v-birth bunk you'll note that there are two benches here on either side to take a seat or to help yourself up into that bed cedar lined drawers there also a couple of drawers uh, below the bunk all right on the salon side of the v-birth or i should say uh, forward stateroom is this little station which has a hanging locker um, a nice little vanity slash workstation um, a speaker and you've got independent audio uh, volume control from the uh uh, controlling the audio from the stereo in the salon and then let's go ahead and walk on back All right, there's that beautiful galley companionway here's another little panorama got the television up there stereo and of course there's your uh, air conditioning control let me give a nice large cabinet for tools first aid flares now uh, there's a lot more here we got motor parts motor supplies also available back here nicely labeled um, here is your nav station uh, slash um, electrical control station so uh, you could put charts in here if you wanted to but not a lot of reason to have charts much of any more. Uh, at least taking up a lot of room in a, in a primo spot. But otherwise, here we have the electrical controls. Uh, you have your AC on the right hand side and DC on the left hand side. And also in this alley, uh, you have your battery controls. So here you see the original board, Hunter Passage 42. Um, starter battery, and then you've got your inverter draw selector, uh, which battery is the inverter going to draw from when it is functioning, and your hard interface control as well. Let's check out the aft cabin. We call it the master stateroom as well. Um, to starboard, a nice bench seating area. And we have a similar situation here. Uh, maybe it's a vanity. Maybe it's a workstation, a desk. Moving around. There we have our control for the air conditioning. See a couple of speakers. Nice big berth. I'd say eh, just about as wide as a queen and deeper. And plenty of cabinetry for storage. Check it out. It's a beaut. Now... I'm going to go over here, get a little, little view from this area. All right. 
And in here, we have the master head. Um, separate shower stall. Well, almost. It's got a curtain. Uh, pretty much separate. And we've got a couple of mirrors here, which with storage behind. A little storage for toiletries over there as well. Electric flush head. And uh, this could be a bathtub if you wanted. Nice full length mirror on the interior of that as well. Now let's take a look at uh, the electrical part of the vessel. Um, these, this the battery rack, inverter, and so from what do we got? August 2020. Uh, that's the motor start battery. Here's your inverter charger. So that's a Freedom 20. All right, guys. So here is the engine room below the cockpit. Uh, it looks like we have 453 hours on this Kohler genset. Um, of course, diesel, and all right, so, uh, Yanmar motor, um, Kohler branded. And here we go down below. Uh, we have another Yanmar for the main four cylinder. More details about this motor in the listing on Yacht World. All right. Everything seems to be in order and in nice condition, um, especially for being a 1996. All right, everybody, thanks for taking a look with me at this 1996 Hunter Passage 42. Boat's in great shape, shows very well, and um, she is ready for a new owner. Give me a call anytime at 619-313-3664. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.